Good morning, Fibsville. Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Wake up. It's time to get up and do some art today. It is February 27th. And this is Mary at the Mary Atier. And I am going to work on some art projects. I've got several things going here. Hi, Arlene. Good morning. Good morning, Arlene. Yeah. I've got a lot of things out on my desk, but I'm going to work on my calendar. I'm putting together ATCs to send out. I started these in Sharon stream last night. Look at these. I think I got, what did I count? 25 of them here. I have several people who requested them. I'm working on my little bird ATCs. I got those. And I'm working on the little book that I'm going to do for um, that Lisa and Tanya did. I believe it was on Monday night. I'm going to put mine in this little Altoid tin can. So I'll be altering that. And here's the pattern that I made for the cover. It's just going to be a little book that fits in there. I made this the same size as this. And I need to cut these sheets down a little. So we'll be doing that. Let's go to my stream and say good morning, Mary. Good morning, everybody. Arlene is here. Teresa's here. Good morning, Teresa. Hi, Rhonda. Good morning. Oh, I've got a little echo here. Let's go turn down my sound. Honestly. There we go. So I did get some sleep last night. <laughs> Poor Sharon, I was in her stream. Oh, I just like I was so tired yesterday. It was like I was in a fog. And I'm going to make a zine this morning. So I'm going to do that too. But the first thing that I'm going to work on is my calendar page because I want to do a calendar page. See if I can't convert this entire calendar for the fun of it. There's no season such delight as summer, autumn, winter, and spring. That means enjoy the season you're in. And that could apply to life, too. That could apply to life. Try to enjoy the season you're in. Now, the other day we had a quote that said, No man is a failure who is enjoying life. All this country wisdom, I'll tell you. Mary should listen. Mary should listen. Shall I continue using this and use it up? Use it up. I've got the barcode here. Let's tear it off and see what I have. This is the front of my little 6 by 6 scrapbook pad. I'm just trying to use things up that I have on my desk. And using them on the calendars does not seem like a bad idea. Maybe a little more here. A little more this way. What did I use? I used tape yesterday. I think I'll use tape again today. I have to dig out the glue. Have to dig out the glue. So 
I got all my errands ran yesterday, except for now. Now I have a few more things I need to do today. But that shouldn't take me long. And today is today is Thursday. How did it get to be Thursday already? My goodness. How did it get to be Thursday? I don't know. Time just is flying by. That's what time does. It flies. It has wings. It has wings. Oops. I want my little barn to show. I want my barn to show. So I'm going to have to tear off some more here. Oops. Well, I guess that's good enough. Well, I guess I'll tear it off. All right. Let's sew the scrappies away. You have to throw some stuff away. Hi, Judy. Good morning. Good morning. What shall I put on it? No, oh, we've already used gold. Let's use uh, Rich Espresso. So, 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 I don't have much to say this morning. I don't have much to say. You know what I want to do, though? Let's take a little water and just spritz it on my tabletop. Oh, come on. I just want a dab. I bought a new water spritzer. I don't know what happened to my other one. I've looked all over for it. It'll show up one of these days. I need a water spritzer in here. Didn't cost much. A couple dollars. I went to Sally's Beauty Supply. I very seldom go in there. And I was looking for a hot oil treatment for my hair. Because I've got a pretty dry hair. And uh, by golly, they don't make it anymore. Even at the beauty. I thought surely the beauty supply would have something. And I said, don't you have a conditioner or something? And she showed me this product that had, you know, I got it. Well, she showed me two, two or three that were, they called them masks, hair masks, M-A-S-K-S. <laughs> I go in hair masks. That's almost too much. Let's see what I can do here. I don't know if I can get some of that up and on. So I bought one little, and they sell them in, in like one, one application. And they had one there that you could buy it in the, the little application. And then if you liked it, you could come up back and get a bigger jar. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm afraid that that's going to be on there pretty dark. Let's dry it. Yeah. I'm getting a bunch of things on my desk again, piled up on my desk. Uh, 
that I was tired by the time I got home. I was listening to Aunt Beth on the way home. And uh, <laughs> I got home. I was tired. After I, I slept a little after Aunt Beth's scream, but I'll tell you, I wasn't together when I went to share the stream last night. I was out of it. Yeah, let's put a little... <sighs> Clean my hands a little. Okay, so there's my, that's all I do to it. I don't know, this one might need a little more writing on it, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a little something to do to get me started. There is no season such delight can bring as summer, autumn, winter, and spring. And spring is not that far away. All righty. Let's see what you're saying out here. And Hi, Barbara. Good morning. Judy's here. Teresa says, I have to throw a lot of things away. Yeah. Um, it can pile up on you pretty fast. See, I've got this ribbon, this fabric ribbon. And I was using it on the project that I sent to... Care heart, and I haven't put that away yet. Well, I won't. I'm working on ATCs and little books, and and my and this. Ah. Um. What are you throwing away? Arlene says hi, Barb. Hi, Barb. They're saying hi, Barbara. Teresa says Pantene. Pantene has a nice hair conditioner that comes in a little capsules. That while your hair is wet, you put it on and brush it through. Really? Hmm. I'll have to look for those. Well, I do use a conditioner, but sometimes I need like a hot oil treatment. And you used to, when I was young, <laughs> you used to be able to buy in these little bottles little not little bottles but like conditioner bottles hot oil treatment and that usually made my hair and you do it like you wouldn't do it every time you washed your hair well I guess you could but I don't know I guess I could just start putting olive oil on my hair you know but that's kind of a homegrown solution I've got these tiny tiny keys and there are 30 pieces in here. And I got these, this um, hemp. And I think I'm going to, while I'm making my cards, i got to finish putting the little dots and dashes on there. But I'm going to wrap some hemp around that a couple of times and put a key on it and let it hang down. So we'll see how those turn out. Amazon still has a variety of hot oil treatments for hair. Oh, they do, Judy. I'll have to look. I just ordered one myself. My hair gets dry in the winter. Yeah, I think that's my issue, too, because I do have dry skin. I try to keep hand cream, especially my hands, because I'm always, I'm always reaching for that hand sanitizer, which has a lot of alcohol in it, and that'll dry your hands out. And I have to really put a lot of hand cream on my hands. So I think I have a dry hair, too. <laughs> I'll have to check that out, Judy. Hi, Artsy Nancy. Does anyone remember VO5 oil, hot oil treatments? Well, that's the shampoo that I use is VO5. You can get it pretty cheap. VO5, I don't pay a lot for shampoo. <laughs> Maybe I should. But my hair is not, you know, my hair is not bad. But my my scalp is dry. So VO5, but I, I looked on, you know, they have all sorts of hair products. But do you think they have hard oil treatments? Huh. <laughs> 
That might have been what we used, Rhonda, was VO5. I don't remember the brand when I was younger. I stopped using them. That's probably why we can't find them anymore. Arlene said her mother used those. Judy says, I used to use VO5 treatments, but I didn't find them this winter. It's snowing. It's snowing. Oh, no. I don't know if it's snowing here. I don't think, I think we're getting pretty nice weather. What I think is going to happen here is we, we're going to think that spring is on its way and, and uh, the flowers and the daffodils are I'm just sure of it. A lot of people also use coconut oil. Yeah, now coconut oil might be a good thing to, to use on your hair. We had a fake snow day yesterday, no school. They were calling for eight inches of snow, but we didn't get anything near it. Oh, those kids needed a break anyway. <laughs> Hi, Shelly. Good morning. I couldn't find the VO5 oil this time. I bought something else on Amazon. Yeah, they might have discontinued them. Snowing and wind, Judy says. It's very cold. Well, all your snow, Rhonda, went to Judy. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Good morning. Hi, Joyce. I think March might be rough this year. It might be. We'll see what's going to happen. Our daffodils are blooming, Teresa says. My garlic is growing well, and there are dandelions all over. We don't have any dandelions yet, but our our daffodils are starting to peek through the ground. I'm tempted to go out and cover them up some more <laughs> with some leaves or something. Joyce is here. Teresa. Good morning, Joyce. They're saying good morning. Terry's here. All right. Well, now might be a good time. Yesterday, in, I thought that I got this envelope from Sharon because I was expecting... I was expecting an envelope from Sharon, but it was from Arlene, and I didn't know it. And I opened it up, and I was talking about it. People was talking about it. And uh, Sharon remarked, she says, um, oh, what beautiful fabric this is. And it is pretty. Look at that. Nice farmer's market colors. I love this. This would make a nice base for a, for a quilt square, wouldn't it? do some hand some hand quilting and uh, i saw those little men today i don't know where did i put them over here yeah little little guys here they're so cute they're so cute anyway i was remarking about how how uh, or or sharon was remarking about how pretty this fabric was and i'm going well you sent it to me you should know how pretty it is and I was talking away, and, and Sharon said, Mary, look at that envelope. And I looked at it, and, and it wasn't from Sharon. It was from Arlene. <laughs> I'm going, Arlene. And that, I, I messed up. Here, I thought this was what, because I was expecting something from Sharon. I wasn't expecting anything from Arlene. Isn't this beautiful? This is really pretty. I like this. Arlene says, if you don't like it, you can toss it. Now, I think that, I think on the camera, I don't know how it looks to you guys, but this is not blue. This is a pretty, pretty green color. This is a pretty green color. So I like that a lot. I'm not tossing that. And here's another fabric piece. Hearts. Hearts. It looks like she cut one heart out, but that's okay because I'll cut these. Out. When you this you see, remember me. And it's got a little house up here. Or she may not have cut it out. Somebody used the heart. When this you see, remember me. 
So this would also make a nice little quilt square for hand stitching if Beth does quilt squares or even, I don't know if she's going to do them as a video or just show them. I don't know. She was talking about doing some quilting. I don't quilt, but I might do a couple blocks. Then Arlene sent me all of all of these wonderful pictures, all these wonderful um, love, looking for the real thing. Oh, here, these go down here. I love what you sent me here. I love these birds. Chickadees and wrens and wrens and kinglets and net catchers and robins. We are ready for the birds to come. And she sent me little, there's a note. She sent me some little packets, and I, I really enjoy how she made these little envelopes out of a uh, book page. And I opened this up, and I see this title. It says, Saturday, the rabbit went hungry. <laughs> these will go in my art turn. I love how you did that. And then she put various kinds of, of uh, ephemera in there. I think this is, uh, well, that's a gentleman, but... There's Hardanger, and she does a nice job. She does a nice job of, of I'm not going to go through each one because I did last night, but I'm just showing you what's in here. And, uh, yeah, I love these little packets. I love these little pockets of packets of little things. Little things. I don't want to bend them. Get in there. You know, this one, this one I really like. It's a kind of a certificate thing. My laptop is lagging. I think I'm going to take my, not right now, but take my ether cord, Ethernet cord out, maybe put it in another port. I find that if I change those ports around and leave that Ethernet off for a while, it resets itself. This is from the World's Columbian Exposition in the 1800s. I think it was in Chicago. Admit the bearer. This is an admittance ticket. May 30th, 1893. Love that. Love it. I mean, that's a, a picture of it. And she sent another one. I think the paper clip on went on one, a little acorn paper clip here. Let's put this one on here. Put that one there. And then she put a real paper clip on this one. Very cool, very cool. Has all sorts of little ephemeras in here. These are stamped images here. Please write. <laughs> aww, aww. Yeah, I like these, Arlene. Thank you so much for this. Now, we will put this one here. And then she has an envelope. An envelope of, like, quotes and, and images. I'm not going to read all the quotes, but it has a whole bunch of quotes here. And images. The author at two in her mother's arms. In her mother's arms. And looks like Alice in Wonderland. Pet tags. These are cool, Arlene. These are so cool. Look at these. Very cool stuff. Very, very cool. Yeah. Have a very nice day. <laughs> Aww. Loving these. Loving them. Let me get a hold of these. And a, and a little envelope here. Oh, it says hi. Hi is punched out of it. Oh, I like that. That's cool. If you put something there, you get the word high. 
Very nice. I love these little ephemera pieces. I'm going to I'm going to use them on my altered calendar. Maybe I'll keep this envelope out. Well, I'll keep them all out. But these will go nice on my calendar. We keep the envelopes of ephemera out. And then more book pages here of uh, The Hague, Windmills, A Boy on a Dad on a Bicycle, Town Hall Meeting at Middleburg, a lot of black and white photos. Oh, these are artists. The Artist Studio painted band by Van Ostade. Rembrandt's Night Watch. These are pretty cool. The Royal Family at Holland. Got some little Dutch girls down here. That's William the Silent. William the Silent. <laughs> I love it. William the Silent. He didn't say much. Probably didn't have much to say. And here's a shoemaker. I saw some of those shoe stretchers at the thrift store yesterday. I just about bought them. And then I said to myself, what will you do with shoe stretchers? Put them on the shelf. That's what you do with them. Then she sent me some time cards. They were only $2. They were newer. The newer ones, they had plastic handles to stretch with. Some more fussy cuts in here. Lots of fussy cuts. Thank you so much, Arlene. This looks like a an ironwork piece here. That's cool. And look, she sent owls off of a defy bag. Isn't that cool? Love what you've done, Arlene. Thank you so much for the happy mail. And some statues, marble statues here. Woohoo. And some more quotes, pages of quotes. Yep, yep, yep. Youth is a gift of nature, but age is a work of art. How cool is that? Some dolls. I love the dolls. I like these. These are cool. And some more. This is from Holland. I think these went with that other one that had the Dutch... Let's put them down here a little. I think these go in here with these. All righty. Thank you so much for everything, Arlene. That was so nice of you to do that. And I messed up the unboxing. <laughs> oh, dear. And this lovely work that she did on the front of the envelope. Lovely work there. That'll go in my art journal. That will go in my art journal. So I really appreciate it, Arlene. Thank you so much. There we go. Now let's catch up with chat. I wish I could enlarge this chat just a little. Uh, I'm falling off on my chair here. Hold it a second. I've got to adjust the chair cushions. And every time I do that, I'm three feet away and I got to scoot up, scoot up. And the chair doesn't want to move. Ah, come on. I don't understand some days. It's stuck. Inch by inch, everything's a cinch. All right, I'm back. Hi, Sus. Good morning. Hi, Nina. We will be Z and Suze. That makes three of us. You, Arlene, and me. Are you guys sleepy? Well, you can go rest. I won't care. Mary, did you ever buy yourself a new mat? No, I didn't. I looked at one yesterday. I was at Menards. I had to go get... I like to buy the my laundry soap at Menards. It's just a few cents cheaper. I use that uh, Arm & Hammer laundry soap. And I like to buy it at Menards. It's a few cents cheaper, but I also like to go in Menards every now and look. 
And I was looking at chair mats, but I didn't find anything that called to me, so I didn't didn't get one. I got some, I needed some more bubble wrap. Didn't buy much. I got bubble wrap and I learned something about Menard's 11% off to get that discount. They don't take it off at the price reg at the register. They do, you know, they say 11% off of everything. You have to send in your your uh you know, you have to have a coupon, a little form you have to the service desk and get a rebate form it's more of a rebate than a discount those type of marketing ploys irritate me it's like they tell you you're going to get this big deal but then they count on the fact that a lot of people aren't going to bother to send in the for the discount i took the coupon but i i was grumbling about it on the way out <laughs> You know, I'm going, can't you just give me that discount at the store like Michael's does and like, like Hobby Lobby does? <laughs> I didn't say anything to them. I learned my lesson at Joann's. Costco has them, I think, either 15 or 20. We don't have a Costco. There was a Costco up in Madison. I miss my Madison shopping. I really do. That's where you found yours. Menards is like toys for, <laughs> toys are us for adults. Yeah. Yeah. People just don't bother with it. And, you know, they run these big ads every, oh, every few weeks. They'll be, well, not few weeks. And, you know, Every now and then they'll run these big ads saying 11% off of everything in the store. I'm going, oh, yay, I'm going to get 11% off of my laundry soap. <laughs> well, not unless you send in the coupon. I think I only spent about $13. I bought bubble wrap and laundry soap. And I'm you're, you're sitting there going, and I ask her, I said, well, can you save the coupon? I mean, can you save it? And you can, you know, you can save up all your receipts, but who's going to do that too? I mean, you have to be a very diligent couponer or very diligent at it, or you have to go to Menards several times, and who knows, it'd probably take me a, a year to save up enough to get 3 or $4 back. I think they should just do it at the cash register like some of the other stores do. I'm not running their store. I don't know. I just I very, very... Um, saddened by it sad it makes me sad when they do that because yeah see this is my little template but i need to cut this paper i think i'm going to do 10 sheets i'll get two pages off of every sheet two when i fold it you know like that um i think this is what two inches about two inches two and a yeah it's two inches it's two inches wide. So one, two, wait here, one, two, three, four. Well, I might get two and a half pages, but I'll have, I'll have a little, I'm going to tape these together, or glue them together here too. But I need to cut these, these down a little because I have them the exact height of the book. So I need to cut these down. So if I can get two, let's just estimate two off of every strip, and I've got 10 strips. So that's 20 pages in my little book. So that should be enough. So what I want to do this morning, what I want to do this morning is, let's put Arlene's things over here where I can get at them when I want them. I should put them right here in the, will they fit in here? Let's put them right in here. I might have to take this off and put it over here. Wait a second. I'll put this in here like this. That like that. And we'll put these. Will it fit? Yeah, it'll fit. It'll help keep this calendar open. There, like that. All right. Mary figured that one out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get my, I 
dang room. I'm going to trim these down a fourth of an inch because I don't want them hitting the. I don't want them hitting the top and bottom of the book. So if I put them this way, I can trim them here. So let's let's trim two at a time. One fourth inch. Let's see how it works here. Is it even? And put it in here. Put it away too fast. Yeah, that's going to be good. All right, a fourth of an inch. And this was stationary that I got at the thrift store, of course, for $1.25. Stationary and envelopes. And I went to the thrift store yesterday. I didn't get much. I only spent $5. <laughs> uh, and I got notepads. I don't think that's worth showing you because it's just a bunch of little notepads. And I got a, a blank journal for a dollar that I'm going to write in. I was thinking I'd start writing letters to Fibsville again. Or to, you know, I was writing to people who watched my channel a couple years ago. Letter writing. I thought maybe I'd start doing a journal thing. I don't know. I have all these big ideas. There we go. There we go. Now I need to start gluing them together. Now, Tanya, Lisa, Lisa put hers all together at once and folded them in a big strip. And Tanya did hers. I'm going to do it like Lisa did, I think. I have a big long strip and I'm going to use glue stick here and I'm just going to glue the margins together here and I probably should have a little piece of yeah mm -mm. Boy, let me tell you, this cart gets piled up pretty fast. What happened to my waxed paper? Uh, there it is. I cut all those watercolor sheets the other day, and I got all the ends of them off on my cart here. I need to take them out and cut them down or... something or other they're piling up on my little cart and there it's hard to get to things because all they i'm knocking them off on the floor i'm knocking them off on the floor now i need to put this tin or something on it to hold it so good.
Hi, Marika. Letter writing. Hope everybody in chat is having a good time. Wish you all well. Thank you, Varika. You too. And I'm probably mispronouncing your name. Letter writing. Yeah. We we that's the other thing that has kind of gone the way of the VO5 hot oil treatments. You can't find them much anymore. But I think I'm going to do the letter writing in a journal. I should just start doing that. I probably do it in standalone videos, though. I've started doing similar projects. Similar projects, but. I never seem to quite keep it up. I wonder if I can keep it up in this blank journal. Part of it is having things to say. I mean. <laughs> but spring is coming. I can talk about the gardens again. This year I'm going to. I saved all my zinnia seeds and marigold seeds. This year, I'm going to just sow zinnias and marigolds. I want to get some cone flowers, C-O-N-E, cone flowers, to put out under that black walnut tree that we have. And that's the other thing that I want to do when the weather gets a little nicer. So I can open the back door to the kitchen so that some of the odor goes out. Um when the weather gets a little nicer, I can open the doors. I want to make that walnut ink. But everything that I read, they say that it can cause quite a stink. So you want to do it on in a ventilated area. Someday when my brother goes fishing all day, <laughs> he'll come home and go, what did you burn? <laughs> Yeah, just a few more. One more. I don't know if it's going to be enough. It seems like it should be if it's 20-some 20, 20 pages. Now, where's my little pattern thing again? I want to make them. Yeah, that's why I put wax paper down. Oh, dear. Here comes the morning sneeze. Did it pass? Mm. Let's put the lid on the glue stick. All right. I want to fold these at two inches. And I think you just need to get the first fold in there. I could score them. No, I think I'll do it like this. Do it like this. And my pages will probably be a little crooked. My pages will be a little crooked. Now it's wanting to go on me here. I can get the first one. There we go. Of course, my bone folder is somewhere. Well, I like to use the edge of this palette knife. Whoops, that's not the palette knife. Where's my palette knife? 
me use this. Yeah, my coffee's in the way. All righty, I think I'm done with that. Now it's just a matter of folding these straight. I'm going to move this from here over to here. I think it'll be better, easier to work on. Maybe. I'm one to fold crooked, let me tell you. I'm one to want to fold crooked. Let's see what I'm doing. You're dropping your R's? <laughs> Rhonda, you should show us how you go. Arlene, I will pick I will pick up your D if you pick up me mine. Oh. <laughs> Teresa says, I'll be back. I'm going to reset my router. Yeah, I kind of think maybe that's what I need to do every now and then is reset everything. I had a hard time getting into Sharon's live stream last night. And she'd go, Mary, you're late. <laughs> going, I tried. I was trying at seven o'clock, really. <laughs> okay. Well, see, now that wants to fold on the fold, not on the. Uh, the fold comes just a little just a little bit beyond the page and it wants to fold on the fold I might don't know if I can get that folded where I need it to be maybe I will if I convince it can I convince you to fold where I want you to fold I don't know we'll see that may not be a little bit big but that's okay. So I'm getting about three pages, three little pages for one long page on here. And I didn't see how they finished their book. I got to where they were gluing it down, but I have to make my cover and everything. Yeah. Carla's in the house. Good morning, Carla. Did I say good morning to you? Are you guys buffering? No buffers? Arlene says, I have a friend that doesn't like to touch talk much on the phone and doesn't use Facebook. We write back and forth. Opening a letter is so much richer than opening an email or a, or a messenger message. I agree, Arlene. I so agree. I so agree. And that's the way they had to communicate way back then. Way back then in the 1900s. 
Way back then in the 1900s. Can you imagine we're already in the year 2020? I'm just going, 2020? How did it get to be 2020? Did it get to be 2020? See, here's another one. Luckily, this one, well, it's just a little bit over the... Right here where, these, where I glued these two pieces of paper together, it's not the easiest fold, and it's coming right... Right where I want to put my next page. Yeah. I have to convince it to move. Right, right in there. Oops. Hi, Deborah. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's a little bit harder. It wants to fold naturally at the bend. And it's just a little teeny bit over. Yeah. I did my best, Mom. I did my best. This is the little book that Tanya and Lisa made. I'm trying to get one done too. I'm trying. Get it up to my nose. This one page is going to come out just a little because it it was on that where I glued my pages together. The more pages you get, I think the harder it is to fold. I could be wrong. It's all right, though. 
it's going to be a nice, nice little book. This one, thank goodness, is going to go over that fold, that margin. <sighs> was wrong. I think I'd rather make my little oops. I think I'd rather make my little jam journals. <laughs> They're a lot easier than doing all this. It's fun techniques to to do though. Keep you hopping with your mixed media. Keeps you hopping, keep your skills up. I'm about halfway through. I'm about halfway through. I only used five sheets of eight and a half by eleven paper. And that, that was quite enough, I think. Barb says, yeah, Mary, I'll be back in there in the chat in a little bit because I got to get my husband, pick him up, and I'll be back. And then I have to go to the doctor tomorrow in the morning. <sighs> They're saying good morning to everybody. Hi, Joyce Boring. Mina says, okay, freezing cold right now. Finally going to bed. Good night slash morning for everyone. Mina must have been up all night. <laughs> it's cold where she is. She's crawling back under the covers. I don't blame her. Sleep well, Mina. Oops. I love the little phone books you make like that, but your covers are magnets. Oh, you know, when I went to the thrift store yesterday, I got some magnet paper, some uh Eight and a half by eleven. It's I don't know how many sheets are in there because it was taped closed. But they, the, you know, it was a printer. You could. It was a magnet, magnetic sheet you could send through your printer. And I thought, well, I could, I could do something. I could alter them. I don't have to print on them. I don't know how many sheets are in that box. I should show you guys what I got at the thrift store, but I didn't think it would be very exciting. Oh, it's just all papers. Notepads. Not that many. I just spent $5. Got quite a few of them for $5. A lot of 25 cent things. Index cards. That type of thing. Well, this takes a certain talent to fold these even. I'm not sure all mine are that even. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'll have a lot of little pages. What am I going to do with it? I think I'll tear out some, some music, tear up some music sheets and put in there and maybe put a little picture or something on each page. <sighs> you gotta, if you make a little book, you gotta put something in it. Oh, I got several sheets left here. I got as far as I thought I was. 
We'll keep folding. We'll keep folding. Five sheets might have been quite a bit. None. Well, I have 10 sheets of, I got two strips out of each sheet because I cut off of both sides of the margins here. Had music on both margins. Five sheets. I had 10 strips. I'll bet this is real exciting to watch, isn't it? I'm getting tired of doing it. We will press on. We will press on. Yeah, Teresa says, it's, yeah, especially if you were born in the 1900s. <laughs> yeah. You may have to score in that fold, yeah, where they're glued together. Yeah. Mine are, they're a little uneven, but not too bad. Not too bad. I can live with it. I can live with it. I'm having to flip my pages over, though. I do think... Uh, that Tanya scored hers before she folded it. I don't know. I don't know. Did I see Tanya? I know Tanya did hers a sheet at a time and then glued all the sheets together. Let's see. What are we talking about? Mine would have been awfully crooked. Two things that I want are a scoreboard and a belly plate. <laughs> a jelly plate? I would like to have, I have two scoreboards up in Wisconsin. <laughs> They're all up in Wisconsin. Everything I have is up in Wisconsin. I hate to go buy another one. They, they aren't that expensive. The scoreboards are not that expensive if, if you watch for them. But the problem is I should just get on Amazon and buy one. They don't sell them retail around here. There's no place. Hobby Lobby doesn't carry them anymore. I don't know if they ever did. I don't know if they ever did. You, scrap, you used to get them at scrapbook stores, those score, scoreboards. Probably get it at Michael's. Yeah, I'm a little thirsty this morning. Gulp, gulp. Yeah. Yours came from Hobby Lobby? Oh, really? I don't think our Hobby Lobby carries them anymore. This is where Rhonda said I would probably have to score the, the because it's it's two pieces glued together there and it's a little bit thicker. I just kind of talk to it saying. And it wants of course the fold comes right at the very bend of it so it it wants to bend where it it wants to bend where it naturally where the natural right at the very end of the creek of where they're glued together. And now I needed an eighth of an inch away. Yeah. It's not 
too bad. How much do I have left? I've just got a couple, couple of sheets left here. I get three, three pages to a sheet, approximately. So about nine more, nine more of these. One thing that helps me is I got this little red line that I can see across the. That kind of helps me with folding it. It can be a handful. about there. I'm just about there. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah. We're at another fold here. Another margin thing. This didn't get glued down very good. Where's my... Kind of missed it on that one. I don't know if I can... That one big one there, I knew I'd have, I knew it would be, I don't know if I can fix that or not. Which one is it? It's this one. Is it that one? Yeah. If I can bring it down a little, I don't know if I can. that and let it let the large part of it go to the end instead of the front. 
that's where it's just a little teeny bit of a and you can I need Lisa's I need to put some glue in my fine line paint applicator it's got a little bit of a like a sixteenth of an inch of a flap there. Yeah, it's still wanting to, it's not too bad. All right, all right. I'm just about done. I'm just about done. You said that 10 pages ago. Well, it probably was about 10 pages ago. Let's see what I'm doing here. Scoring it across probably would have helped every two inches, but I didn't want to take the time to do all of that. So you struggle, Mary. Yeah. Now, my, I want to round my corners. This one isn't straight. That's that double-edged thing. And I think I'm going to have to... Swear at this a little here. If I get my hand in there. I don't think my corner punch is going to punch that thick of a piece. I'll probably have to do it in portions, and I think I think I can do it in portions with my corner punch. We will see. We will see. This is going crooked here. What's crooked here? This isn't straight. A little bit left here, about two sheets, because I had four before. I'm tempted to just cut it off. No, I'm going to keep folding this. Go for the challenge here. Let's do the challenge.
see right at the very edge, it wants to. Mm -hmm. This one might be a little better. This has to be kind of boring to watch. My last couple folds aren't that great. It's still looking all right. It's still looking all right. What do I got here? Arlene says, since that scoreboard was discontinued, I'm sure the price will continue to go up. When I need a good fold, I slide the metal ruler in and fold over it. Yeah, that would probably work too. And I keep hitting my laptop over here, my net notebook. I'm sliding off my chair. <laughs> Sitting on the very edge of my chair. <laughs> I saw some stools at Menards. They were on sale. I almost bought me a stool to sit on. And that probably wouldn't be that comfortable either. That probably would not be that comfortable either. They were on sale, but... Uh, they weren't wooden ones. They were, I guess you could say resin or fire, whatever. They were plastic, <laughs> a strong plastic. So I didn't get them. I was afraid I'd break them. I'd sit on it and break it. <laughs> I was afraid I'd sit on it and break it. Waste my money. Come on. Right at the right at the paste line again here. We probably should be scoring these down. I'll tell you, the more you get, the harder it is to get these as an even. It's not too bad. You know, at the end here, there's a few, but I'm just about done. I'm just about done. Boy, that's a big little book. I didn't know it'd make that many pages. Now, these last few are not that neat. I'm getting tired of doing it. I'm getting tired of this.
one sheet left. And this is right at the paste line. Last few are bad. There we go. And they're not perfect, but that's okay. Alrighty. Oh, I have Lisa's problem. I think as you fold it grows bigger. Will it still fit in my can? Will it still fit? Yeah, well, it'll fit pretty good. But I'm going to put it down. I don't know. It, it seems to grow wider as you fold. I, I think Lisa had that issue too. And she said she'd put lace on hers. Now I wanted mine to fit in there. It it grew. It grew about it grew about an eighth of an inch wider. Isn't that something? I don't know. Let's let's fool with this. After all of that, let's take about this many and see if I can corner punch these. Like that. Whoops, that was the wrong side. <sighs> that did pretty good. Did I get that one? Yeah. yeah. Now, I think I'm going to have to only corner punch one side because I'll be gluing the other side down together. Get my hand out of the way. This one's not folded straight. going on there. And 
just a few left here. These last folds are not good folds. I got tired. I got tired. They're not pretty folds. I don't know if I can fix it or not. Probably messing it up. There we go. Now, let's see what I have here. Not too bad. Not too bad. This end sheet just can be folded that way. Fits in there pretty good, but I've got a cover to it. I don't know if I'm going to make a I think I'm going to have to not make the cover any bigger than these sheets. I could just put them in that way and let them fall out, but... <sighs> See, this cover is a little bit smaller. It's okay lengthwise. It's about an eighth of an inch. Too big here. And that happened to Lisa when she folded hers. I didn't learn my lesson from Lisa. So let's make, let's make another pattern here before I cut my cover out. Sure, I'll fall out. That's all right. Just keep falling out. I think that's going to be too... That's about the right size for that, but we need it a little wider. So let's use one of these. Mary's chattering to herself here. Hi, Oja. No school today, Rhonda says. Yippee, no school today. Hi, Violet. Good morning, Violet. Good morning, Anne. Good morning, good morning. Violet's saying good morning to everybody. Snow day. Ann says snow day. Um, I'll probably just, uh, what I think I'll do is uh, get a music book and just put a sheet of, of like of a, of a music, just a little tear of music and, and uh, something on it, a little, a little uh, cut out, a little fussy cut on top of that, and maybe a little word, a word on each sheet. But I want to get the book made here. Let's measure. I'm sitting on the edge of my chair because this pillow, I'm going to take one of these pillows out there. They're there to give me height, but they keep slipping around right behind me. The pillows are not even in there. <laughs> sitting on three inches of my chair. Ah, that is not comfortable. 
Oh, that's much better. But now I'm three feet away from my desk again. Let me pull my chair up. Huh. All right, I need my ruler. Now, if I measure, that's the back of the book. If I measure, yeah, I can't see my measuring. From here to here is two. I almost want two and a fourth inches. And two and a fourth inches is just going to squeeze in there. And it does just squeeze in. Maybe I'll make it two and an eighth. Well, that, that's what I had. And I think I just had two here. I just have two. I, yeah, I need that eighth inch. And my page is going to come right out to right out to the very edge. I'm not going to have much of a lap over. For some reason, my for some reason it expanded. And let's see, height wise, it I'm not having a problem with the height. I'm having a problem with the width. Height wise, it is three and a three and a fourth. Let's see if that's what this is. No, this is three. Yeah, three and a well, that's three and a half. This must be three and a half. I must have looked wrong. No, this says three and a fourth. Oh, well, that would make sense because I'll have a little a height wise that fits okay. It, it, it's it gives me that little bit. Width wise it grew. And I think Lisa had that problem too. And I think it's just a result of folding it width wise. I should have made them a little shorter. Lisa said, oh, well, I'll put, uh, but I made a, I made a template. So I'm going to make another template. Two and an eighth, I think. Two and an eighth. Uh, I think two and an eighth will give me just a, just a bit more here. So one, two, well, I'm going to make it two and a fourth here. I'll cut it down if I need. And what did I say? Three and a half? Of course, I don't know what I did with the... Three and a half. <laughs> oh dear me. I think maybe I think maybe what did I do with my here it is corner rounder? And I want the one half one. And these little rubber things wanna. Now, I only have to do that to one side. But will this fit? Well, maybe I need to round both ends here. Yeah, it fits pretty good. I think I'm going to... I think it'll still fit in my, but it's coming, these pages are coming right out to the edge. But I'm going to let them do that. So the next thing I want to do, I was going to cut my cover out of this, make it a little stronger. I think I will. This was just a pattern. Those were just patterns. I'll do art on them or something. Let's cut these. Yeah. Three and a half. Okay. 
by two and one fourth, I think I said. And two and one fourth. All right. And let's punch these. And punch, punch, punch. And if my little book doesn't fit in my Altoid can by the time I get done. Well, I'll do something, put it in something else. Now I, I need a spine. And my spine will be approximately, by the time it's squished together here, I'm going to glue it. My spine will be approximately what well, looks like about a half inch. Let's get those little binder clippy things. Uh, I got these at the thrift store the last time I went, not yesterday. They come in a nice little bag. Let's bind these. Hopefully, I'll be able to use these. Come on. Come on. Don't be stubborn. I can't get my hand in there. There. Bind it here. Yeah, it'll be a little sticking out a little there, but I don't think that I'll mind if if these are pretty even. Yeah. Pretty even couple little ones sticking out but that's all right we'll leave it like that I'm not perfect I'm not perfect there we go maybe up a little further here up a little further there we go now this is approximately approximately I can't see the markings Half inch is a little bit too much. More like about three eighths, but a half inch to leave that little, well, if I leave the little gap. Maybe about three eighths. Let's try three eighths and see how it works. And I'm going to measure again here. See if I, how it's going to. I think three eighths. Let's cut it out of this by. Come on. If I can get three eighths, I can. Right there. Is this three and a half? That's three and a half. Right, right there. Wouldn't hurt if I went just a teeny bit over. A 
Boy, that sure seems like a little spine, but it isn't that big. I'm going to go, I'm going to leave it some room. I'm going to go to a half inch because I'm going to be rounding that a little. We'll see. Uh, we will see. That's pretty good. So I'm going to round these if I can. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Probably should have rounded the other. That's not going to work. Let's cut another one. Half inch. rounding those. Let's try it here. Instead of the half inch. Fourth inch. Can't see what I'm doing here. Do I need to do that? I'm going to leave it square for now. We'll see. I, I'm not sure about rounding that, the inches off of that spine. <sighs> now let's come in. Just to, Did I turn my... I don't think, has autofocus been off this whole time? Have you guys been having a problem with the autofocus? I don't think I turned my autofocus off. Let's turn it off. Come on. We're waiting for you. There it is. I'll go up one. Okay, so let's try this. I'm not going to round the spine right away. I might round the spine after I get it all put together. Because I'll have to round it again. I'll have to round it again after I put in my facing page here. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to glue this. Let's glue this so it can set. Let's glue that. Let me go get some glue. I'm going to, I got some of this and I've had it around for a while. This is extreme glue in the liquid form. I don't know what they sell that anymore. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. Sometimes you see it and sometimes you don't. And I had it. I've been cleaning, so I've been I've been finding this stuff. <laughs> now I probably need my sheet of wax paper, whatever I did with that, because I don't want it to drip out on my. needs to be held a little tighter in here. Let's put these down. That'll help. All righty. I can't get this. Ooh. Looks like it needs to be shaking a little here. What did I do with my towel? It's 
got some, like the paint, it's got some goo right at the top. I'm going to shake it up a little. Huh. Is this a clear glue? It doesn't look clear. It looks like it's got a goo at the top here. <gasps> Ew! Mary, making a mess. I, I, I forgot that's a full bottle. I wanted to see what was on the inside. Because it seems to me like there might be some. It seems seems to me like there's some clear stuff at the top of that. Yuck. Yeah, I got it all sticky again. Mm. This is extreme glue, but it is ghoul glue. That kind of puzzles me. Extreme washable school glue. Get it off of my hands. I'm all sticky. I don't know. I think I'll go get Aileen's tacky glue. I'll use this for something else. I have some tacky glue here too. I hope I'm not boring you guys. Wait a minute. Somebody said something to me. I see a red. Did somebody say good morning? Where was that? Why am I not seeing the red on here? Why am I not seeing the red here? I see it on my... Well, come on. Must have been way back. I don't see that red, red highlight on this. This is not showing on the tablet. Rhonda retracted some messages. Oh, there it is. Arlene, Trace, Trace has a question. Mary, what brand is that corner rounder? This is a, thank you, Arlene. This is a um, crocodile. A crocodile. You can get these, or I got mine in Hobby Lobby. I had two that I brought home with me from Wisconsin when I was still working. I, I bought a an angle one, and they have different sizes. Like you can do a fourth of an inch and a half inch. These are the half inch ones, corners. Those are the half inch corners. Ignore that. I'm going to alter this. Um, this is the half inch, and the fourth of an inch is just a little smaller. Uh, fourth inch one looks a little bit more like, of course, now this is on a small, small piece. Fourth inch, a fourth inch is a little smaller. Here, let's hold it up this way, like that. Only this was done on a half inch piece of paper. So as I cornered, as I rounded each side, it made a little point there. It would be a little bit more round on a square piece of paper or a page 
like that. But this is crocodile corner corner punches. I like them because it, it chops through a lot. It won't chop through everything. I don't know. It might have chopped through all of this. Just barely, I think. If you would have squeezed it together, it might have. But uh, it, when I when I did the chopping together here, I did it in sections, which is okay. These aren't exactly even, but it's going to be what it is. So let's get out my tacky glue. I don't know what kind of shape this is in. I haven't used this glue for a while. I had it in a I had it in a box. Let's see what kind of shape it's in. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. Let's put it on here. You just kind of glue this down as neat as you can. Let, let it kind of roll into the sections there. Kind of work it in a little. I think I'm going to put one more. Now, I don't care if I get a little on the side here because when I bind it, I'm going to bind it with a inner page in there. So let's just set this aside and let it dry and get this off my fingers again here. Yeah. Hold it. Hold the, your britches. Hold your britches. Kara's always saying, hold your britches. <laughs> I like that when she says that. I say, hold the phone. Kara says, Kara Hart says, hold your britches. <laughs> clean the top of this off. Ew. Sticky. This is how come my hands get so dry is that I use this hand sanitizer a lot when I'm arting. I need to buy me some more paper towels too. I didn't go to the... I usually buy my paper towels and stuff at Dollar General. I like their paper towels. They charge a little bit more in the grocery store unless you get the cheapy brand. I like Dollar General's prices for paper goods. I buy my wax paper there too. <laughs> Dollar General, the store with the yellow bags. All right. So now I want to go back and work on my spine here and my book cover and uh, I think I'm going to do this one at a time but you got to leave that little gap in there so I think I'm going to put some some washi tape to hold it while I'm taping taping it this little I don't use that washi tape with words on it a lot so let's Let's see if I can get one of those to as a well. Come on, you where they are? Here, no, that's just red. Honestly, Mary, no, I want that one. Well, let's just pull one out. You don't have to be so picky about it. I probably pushed them all to the bottom. That's a Christmas one. Well, she's being fussy this morning. Let's use this. And I'm just going to put it in there temporary while I'm holding it together here. Let's 
I think. I want just a little bit of a bend. Just a little bit of a bend there. That's about right. We'll leave it like that. I should probably have some white paper on under that. Let's put, let's put a sheet of this under it. Uh, glue in the way. Now I want to tape it. Now Lisa taped hers like that. I think I'll tape mine like... Yeah, hold on to that a minute. Let me go get some tape. You can tell how prepared I am. Do I want colored tape? I don't know what I have here. Let's see. Hey, where's my tapes? I think I have some gold. 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 Probably down at the bottom. Silver. Don't be fussy, Mary. I got this gold duct tape. We'll use that. She thinks. She thinks. What are you guys saying to me? I'm not boring. <laughs> Do I say ignore me? Not sure. I'm not saying what they're saying here. Thank you, Arlene, for putting in the Fibsville Facebook group. Janice says, good morning. Good morning, Janice. Rhonda says, Joyce, we would never ignore you. Hi, Southern Angel Stamping. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning. I think she's gluing the covers. I am going to cover my covers with that same scrapbook paper that I, with this type of scrapbook paper that I used for the, I've got another pad of it. I like this. I like, I love the vintage scrapbook paper, but I'm going, I'm just, I'm going to tape this down first. I think, I think, I think, I think. Let's Let's tear this just a little. I don't want it sticking out. Oh, you're such a fuss. You're such a fuss. I want it to hold it in place, but I don't want it so big. I have to, I'm going to get off of my finger now. I'm going to take this off while I'm doing it. I don't want it to stick to that. Let's get it nice and straight as I can. And of course, that's going to stick on there. I think that's pretty even. And we shall see, we shall see, we shall see. And I'm just going to bring it back down. I'm going to bring it back down this way. There we go. And it is sticking to itself. That's okay. We'll leave that sticking to itself. And we'll cut it off here. Because I'm going to punch the corners anyway, I think. 
I'm hoping that I can round these again in here. And I'm thinking I can. Let's get rid of this for right now. We're done with this. We're done with this. Yeah, come on. Off my fingers. Alrighty, we'll put that away. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's let's round these corners here. And this is a crop a dial. And I want the one half inch. And I think I have it. I always have to make sure. Let's make sure I have the half inch. No, that's the fourth inch. That's the half inch. So I'm hoping this is going to cut through this tape. And it, well, it did sort of enough. Well, it on this side. And I don't know if that's cut good there. I gotta do this side. Enough that I can finish it off with my scissors. Now let's do the other side. Now I'm cutting through uh Two layers of, well, actually four layers of duct tape and two layers of cardboard. So, and it does point that. That's interesting how it points that. Well, let's do this. It makes a point out of the spine here. <laughs> That's interesting how it did that. I don't know if I like that. We'll see how it fits with this. It's going to be okay. It'll fit right in there. It'll give me a little space for my facing. I'm going to put facing page on here, I think. And then let's see how it fits in the... Let's see how it fits in my Altoid tin. Well, I've got those, I've got these binder clips on it. I think it's going to just fit in there. I might have to pull a little to get it out. Come out! <laughs> I got my binder clips on it. I think that's holding it. Uh, come on. I still have my binder clips on here. So now I want to I want to decorate the front here. That won't take long. Let's get rid of all of this. We're done with these little pieces. Put that away. See if I put things away while I'm working, just like when you cook. My mother, when she taught me how to cook, she said, always wash your dishes as you go and you won't have a pile of dishes at the end. <laughs> yes, and I do that to this day when I'm cooking. Uh, you know, while you're waiting for your beans to cook or whatever, go wash a few pots and pans so you don't have them to do after dinner. I think I'm going to like that pretty good. Only I did not round these corners, but I don't think that's going to matter. Let's go ahead and decorate. So what I want, hopefully I can find it here. What I want, actually, I could use, I got, oh, here. Here's what I want. I want this. 
I'll show you this while I'm out in the, on the top of my cart here. Last night in Sharon's stream, last night in Sharon's stream, I put E6000 and put this pretty, pretty, pretty piece. Um, I think Mary Two sent that to me. I got it in Happy Mail from somebody, but Mary Two sent me a big box of things. I'm not sure if she sent that to me or somebody else. And then I left the, well, the only thing I have left to do on this is, um, this is Aunt Beck's envelope journal that she did with Kathy Ortiz. And of course, I, I kind of missed it in there. Here, I didn't get that one glued in as even as the others. I don't know if I can fix that or not. But uh, this is the, the journal I made with Aunt Beck with her envelope art journal and she did Kathy's Ortis, Ortis hidden bind hidden hinge binding. I really like that. And these were some photos that I that I took of, of my journal in 2018. I just took pictures. And then I want to I have some left that I'm gonna make tabs. So I'm this is still kind of in progress. I got it over here on my current project cart and I got this summer Oh, I went down three feet <laughs> in my chair. I was scooting it up and I I made it go down. I need it higher. I'm tall, but I'm not that tall. Okay, in here, I'm going to take this. Isn't that pretty? I like that one, but I really like this one. I'm going to make a zine out of that. So I was hoping to get that done this morning too. What time is it? 6.30. We might have time to do it. So I'm going to make some zines. I'm going to start using that paper that comes in the Somerset magazine. I'm going to start using stuff. Here's my cap to my glue. All right. Let's, let's open this. Where's my... Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I can get that off. I like this paper. This is, um, is this the paper studio? No, this is Prima paper. This is Prima. No. I've been using this six inch paper to make my little ATC holders. Isn't that pretty? I'm getting those ready to mail out. If you're waiting for a an ATC from me. It's getting here. I'm getting there. I'm going to mail them out soon. <laughs> All right. I want to cover this journal. Let's pick a pretty cover. Something nice. Let's shove that aside a minute. Could go that way. I like this. I like the little ABCs. Ooh, this is pretty. If I did it right there, right in there. <sighs> I'm not going to bother with trying to do the folding and all of that because I've got already punched my circles. I'm just going to glue it on the front and glue it on the sides. I think I'm going to use this right here in the corner so it'll have it'll have this on it and I might move it up a little so that I can get that typewriter on in here. 
up here in the corner and the rose down over here, I think. And then for the inside, I'm going to use, I could do, I, I kind of like these ABCs. I'm going to use those. And we're just going to glue it down. Shall I use my yes paste? Let's use my yes paste to do that. And I threw away that piece of wax paper. No, it's here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put this on first. And I'm going to, I guess I should probably cut it. Let's cut it so I know what I'm doing here. Uh, let's cut it so that the... Typewriter... Shows right up in the corner. Boy, I just did it, didn't I? I just did it. Any more and I would have been too. I might have to try a little. All right. And then we can save that for art. And let's see, what did I do here? How, how wide did I make this? At three inches? Three and a half inches. And we want to cut it this way. And I want the ABCs to show. One, two, three. One, two, three, ABC. Talking to myself. All right. And this will be on the inside. Should have probably had music, but that's all right. Let's do the front first. Let's do the front first. For some reason or another, I see this as being the front. And I'm just going to glue this down. My scissors over here. Now I get started on doing these things and I don't want to do much else until I get it done. I have to decorate the tin, but I don't think, well, should I do that today? I don't know. I'm wondering, well, we'll see. I was thinking I'd collage it. I don't know if that'll work. I might have to paint it. A, B, C. This is the outside of it. A, B, C. One, two, three. Now, of course, this is all gooey, so let's just fold it in half. Let's see what you guys are saying to me. I'm in my own world again. Hi, Shell. Hi, Galena. Good morning. Janice says, angels, I don't know, although Mod Podge is wetter. What did she ask? Angel ask. Is Yes Paste better than Mod Podge? Um, Janice really answered your question. Yes Paste is a paste. Let me pull some out. See, yes, paste is 
almost like a very soft glue stick in paste form. It's a paste. Uh, Mod Podge is, you know, a liquid type thing. So Janice answered your question pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this side. I like Yes Paste a lot I, for the big flat areas. Um, but I will say I have noticed on some of my, make sure I have this right. This is the bottom and that's the top. Um, on some of my pieces, I've noticed with Yes Paste that it doesn't stick in the center. And maybe that's my, maybe that's my fault. Now, if I cover this without clipping those, let's clip these so I know what I'm doing. Where's my corner punch? I suppose I should have done this. I should have done this all at the... I think this is the half, but I need to make sure. Yeah. Because I'm. I see I'm doing this several times, but I want to make sure I got it right. And I'll probably have to trim that a little. My scissors. Let's trim this. And trim it here. You seem to be doing this several times, Mary. Yeah, the fold goes like, ooh, I'm liking that. I am liking it. I think I want my typewriter on my typewriter on the front. So let's go ahead and You have to, that yes paste gives you a little bit of work time in there. It's gluing down pretty good here. But you have to be sure that you get it glued down on there. I've noticed on some of mine in here, I don't get it glued down as well as I probably should. As I probably should. Okay, that's the top. So I want this to go like this. want it to go like this. And then I'll have to corner punch it again. But I'm, I'm fairly happy with this Yes Paste when I do big areas. Well, when I do the book covers is mostly what I use my Yes Paste for. I've used it for other things, but I don't generally use it for art journal pages and stuff like that. I'll just use my Elmer's glue if I'm using a big area to glue. Yeah. For art journaling, I don't use the Yes Paste. Let's just take this and fold it one more time because I don't want to get my page all gooey. Let's put it like that. Get this out of the way. I do like, though, now, see, I've got Yes Paste on my, on my palette knife. I do like that... Uh, I do like it washes up good. It washes up pretty good. Now, what did I do here? I got to make sure I have my, yeah, and make my numbers right here. And we're just going to put it right in here. So I'm going to get rid of this. It's yucky. I'm learning to be a little bit neater when I do things. Um, I'm not totally there. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a neat person. I watch, I, I, Cat Hand is my inspiration for neatness. Boy, she keeps her, everything that she does, she keeps it so neat and clean. And I'm, I'm not up to her standards yet. All right, let's trim this. 
and probably have to punch it again. I guess I could trim it uh, with the scissors. I think I'll punch though. Let's just trim it here. I'll punch. Uh, that's, that went flying. All right, let's punch it again. Is that the right size? Yeah. And I'll probably come in with some ink on the edges here. Or maybe gold paint. <laughs> or maybe gold paint. Let's trim this a little. I think ink. Archival ink will be, is, uh, will st stain it pretty good. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to embellish the pages today. I'm not going to embellish the pages. Let's fold it. Like it wants to fold. And see, even when I fold it, look what happened when I folded it. Yep, I'll trim that off again. Yeah, it's. I should have folded it first, I guess. It's pulling. I'll have to re-ink this. I'll have to ink this. It When I folded it, I should have folded it first. Let's just trim this. Oops. Oopsie doodle. Oopsie. When I folded it, that I should have made it just a little bit bigger and then folded it and then trimmed it because this is this would have to be inked in there. It did the same thing over here. It pulled off of my paper. That's how you learn. Make sure that this is glued down good. See, if that fold pulls on the paper. That fold pulls. I made it, should have made it a little bit bigger. I was, I was too, I was too, uh, and if I trim it anymore, then my pages here won't fit. If I trim this anymore, my pages in here won't fit. So, lucky for me, that's on the back, but, and that's actually the cardboard there. The paper's too short. I could come in with a piece over here, like this, if I wanted to, and it wouldn't hurt it any. But I don't want to do that. We'll just ink it up. To see what I'm saying? Sometimes this yes paste, you have to be sure that you get it down there good. And that's a glue job thing. I don't think it's the paste. I think it's my gluing. My gluing. And you know, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how this fits in here without me rounding those corners. See, no, that's not going to fit. I'm going to have to round these corners too. So that's going to be a pretty thick round but I've already rounded again let's try it is it the right side yeah yeah you learn as you go here you learn as you go round these corners and it'll make a point Boy, I don't like that at all. Even when I round it. It'll make a... I'm not sure I like what's going on here. Oops, Mary. Oops. I might have messed this up. But if you mess it up, you mess it up. It'll make a point. Because I'm using a half inch. But if I don't round it, it won't fit in my tin. That, that looks rounded there. 
I need to round this one. I kind of goof this side up. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens here. If I goof it up, I goof it up. It just goes goofy then. It's not too bad. It does make a point, but I don't mind that point because this will fit right in the point. But I'm going to have to clean up my edges here. I'm going to have to clean up my edges. That's not a good thing. If I can't clean them up a little, get off of my clean up my edges in here. There. See these, the glue, the glue job. You got to do a good glue job, and I'm doing it in a hurry. It needs to be glued down. <laughs> it needs to set for a while under heavy books. It's not a bad glue job. It's just not... Where's my pellet knife? It's not a good glue job. It's just not a bad one either. Let's get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Move that. Move this. Let's go back and see if I can't glue some of this stuff down. Um, the better thing I think to do, in my opinion, would be not hurry through it. I'm kind of hurrying through it in the sense that I want to get it done today. But the better thing to do would be to glue this and put it under a weight and let that glue cure on this. My glue is not cured down. And so therefore, when I fold it, it, it tugs on the paper and it's pulling on it. So I'm pretty happy with it, though I'm not unhappy with it. I'm kind of unhappy with this because I, I should have made that paper a little bit wider so that when I fold it, it would. It's it's not uh, it's not opening good. Let's score this. And let's get this out of the way again. It's not doing what I want it to do here. I should have scored this good. I should have left more of a, it need more of a, of a bend in here. Bend it the other way too. I'm not sure I'm happy with what's going on, but there you go. There it is. Let's ink the edges. Let's see. I'm going to start with this. See what happens here. Yeah. I might have to do paint. Instead of ink. Yeah, get it all over my hands. I don't want to trim it off because if I trim it off, if I trim it off, um, it will, let's do this, it will be too, too small. I'm going to do paint instead of ink, it'll come in here better. And I'll have to let this dry. Maybe I can hit it with the heat gun. Let's just ink this up a little. Where's it? Work that in a little. Along the edge there. Yeah, I kind of like that. 
But lucky for me, this is on the back of the book. So... I don't know. Maybe I should make more smaller books. And maybe I should have folded this around rather than cut it off because it needs a better glue job in there. I did not do a good glue job. I'll be messing with that. I will be messing with it. But this... This, the thing of it is, you've got to get in there and practice. Learn from your mistakes, Mary. Learn from your mistakes. The more you do, the more you learn. Kind of liking that. And I'll probably put something on the, on the back of it. I don't want to mess up my typewriter, though. Just a little. Just a little. Probably won't even know it's a typewriter by the time I'm done with it. I'm not sure I did the best job on this cover. But I'm not going to make another one. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Okay, let's do it on the inside. I've got plenty. I've got plenty. I'm not happy with the what happened here. I had to round the corners to get it to fit in, but I'm not happy with how it came to a point there. <sighs> I'm still hoping it'll fit in my tin. And I'll be able to get it out without prying it out. I think the cover will fit. All righty. Yick. Time for more. Time for more hand, hand sanitizer here. Doesn't get it clean. It just gets the top crust off so that I can work. Alrighty. Hmm. Oh, what are you guys saying in chat? Hi, Aunt Beck. Yes, Violet, it is used in book binding industry. Thank you, Aunt Beck, for leaving a link. I wish there was a way to use the glue stick empties. Oh, you know what I'm thinking about that? You know what I'm thinking? Let me pull one out here. Let's see if I have... I Oh, I know. I've been putting my empties in a box over here that I threw my pillow on top of. What did I do with the box? I wanted to show you. What did I do with that box of... Oh, it's over here. Let me get it. Across the room, of course. Let me show you what I'm thinking on the empties. I'm, I've been saving mine, Arlene, because I can't throw them away either. I'm, I don't have a heart to throw them away. Let's close that up. So here's an empty. And it it will come out eventually. This probably isn't in there, right? This may not be a good one to show you on. But this little thing... This little thing turns up and down yet, or it even turn. maybe, I don't know if this one's going to turn up and down on me, but it'll turn around. On one that, where they still come up and down, this one isn't coming up and down. This probably isn't a good one to show you on. This little thing isn't coming up and down. But when they come up and down, you know how you, how you have your glue, and then you turn this, and it comes, it comes up a little. 
But uh, I was thinking about putting a little, it'd have to be a small figure or something. Maybe even not put this in it. Pull it out again. I was thinking about making a little pop-up thing on here. And, and uh, let's try it with a piece of paper. Maybe a half. I don't want to try it with that. Let's try it with this cardboard thing. Might be too stiff, but still. Now, let's try it with a piece of this. Oh, everything fell. Let's try it with a piece of watercolor paper here. See if I can't roll it. It wants to fold. You need a piece of paper that you can roll. That might be a little stiff. Let's try it with a piece of this. Roll it to fit in there. You'd probably have to glue it. here on the edge. Come on. Tacky glue may not be the thing to use. Come on. Just a little. Come on, just give me a little. All right. And we want it to fit the diameter. Maybe about like that. And it's not going to stick. tape. <laughs> I didn't get enough glue on that. Tacky glue is slow, slow, slow go. What did I do with the cap to it? Here it is. I have to be careful how I roll this though. About like that it might be a little small and it has to fit it has to fit on that that's why I thought in here but if I if I put it in here then I won't be able to get the cap on so it has to hook on this little black piece in there and I, I would probably have to have it taped on there somehow but I want it so that when I turn this, this will come up like that. And I'm thinking to have like a little person on there or maybe some flowers in the center. But the thing of it is, you if you're going to use the cap, you're going to have to either have your paper come far enough in there. Now it's not coming out for me. Come on. <laughs> this is what you do when you experiment with things. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> when you experiment with things, you're just you're just seeing what will work and what won't. Um, somehow, I want this to fit on that little black thing, and I would probably have to have a little strip in there, a little a little holder in there that I could tape onto here. And I don't know this one. I think this one is not turning up as much. Um, because even when I have this little black cap on it, it's not coming up like it normally would. It just kind of goes around and around. But, you know, you could have it in the black cap. It'd have to be smaller, smaller diameter. Have it in the black cap, but then you couldn't get this on it. That black cap isn't going to go all the way down. It only goes down as far as the the center of the cap. So I'm thinking to take the cap out and have this paper fit on the inside of this little round thing, this little black thing. And that's what I'm trying to figure out what to do. 
But what I want is so that it can come up when I turn this. So it could come up like that, like lipstick, like lipstick. And so it could come out and then you could have maybe a little flower or something. You can't have too much up here when it's down in there. Because you need to you need to come right to there so you can put the cap on it. And then you could alter the outside. But I haven't quite solved the... I have not quite solved how to get this paper. It'll probably have to have something to wrap around there coming on the inside of this. And that's not going to be easy. That's not going to be easy. So I'm still working with that. That's why I haven't done anything yet. But since you talked about wanting to recycle them, that's I wanted to show you what I was thinking. Rabbit trail. Rabbit trail. I got out of my live chat here. Let's get rid of all my notifications. The elephant is playing hide and seek with the dauber. Where are we at here? Were we, am I in, yeah, I'm in my chat. Um, we were playing, the elephant is playing hide and seek with the dauber. Is Sharon still looking for her elephant page? Hi, Janet. Journey, she never found her elephant painting yet. She told me that she may have accidentally put it in someone's happy mail. <gasps> oh, maybe it came to me. <laughs> maybe <laughs> poor Barb Barb will never get her her happy mail <laughs> there he has all her elephants I'll check happy mail today it's supposed to see I when I opened that happy mail package I thought it was from Sharon it was from Arlene and I did op open the happy mail I did show that happy mail again at the beginning of the, my stream here this morning but I was going through it and thinking it came from Sharon. <laughs> and Sharon was saying what pretty fabric that was. And I was going, well, you sent it to me. <laughs> no. Last night, we were really kind of... <laughs> Sharon was looking for her elephant. <laughs> Mary was in a general state of confusion. Mary was really tired yesterday. All right, let's see if this will fit in that tin without me. I might have to put a pull tab on it. I might, ha it fits, it just fits a little bit over the edge here. Well, can I close it though? No, I'm going to have to trim that cover anyway. But if I trim the cover, what happens to my pages? I think I can take my pages off of the clips here. I can't trim the pages because it'll ruin the folds. Well, I guess I could and have double pages, but we don't want that. Let's take the clips off. Uh, yeah, I guess I could trim those just a little and have those pages will come just even with the... Because I can't close the box. So... Mary's going to mess with this cover. I'm not very happy with the construction of this cover. I could could have done a much better job on this. But it is what it is. If you're not happy with it, move on to something else or try again. Um, I could have done a much better job on the construction of this cover here. It's not bad. I'm not sure I like the points, but I need them pointed so that it'll fit into the... And if I trim these off, then then this will be... This will show. This will fit right into the point there. So, and then I'm not happy that my opening and closing here is kind of goofy. Yeah, I did not do a great job on this cover. Oh, well, that's how it goes. It's pretty, though. It's not bad. So what I want to do next is trim. Let's trim this so it'll fit just a teeny bit. Ooh, put it in the paint, Mary. I might... Uh, 
smash and drag here, this paint. We'll use that for something. Can't waste any paint. Can't waste any paint. Smear. Alrighty. I was going to trim this a little. Just a teeny bit. So, And that means I'll probably have to round my corners again. I'm making a real mess out of this cover. Do it on the other side. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm not happy with the construction of my cover. I could have done a much better job on this. I could have done a much better job. But there you go. Let's punch these again. Now I have to re-ink those edges a little more. Let's do that now. Turn this up a little more. All right. Oh, my ink pad. If I just learned to put things away, like here's my ruler out here, and then if I if I put things away while I'm working. Then, then I'm not so frustrated. All right. Let's flip this page over just for the heck of it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ink the edges. My ink pad is real juicy. in the long run. You just got to keep working, but I do think I could have done a much, much better job on this cover. It's not bad in the long run. I'm hoping it'll fit in there. Making it fit that Altoid tin is the challenge. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> got an ink in there. Can I come in with a spot of paint on that? If I can paint that out a little. Use your fingers. Don't want to smear it too much. It'll still show. There we go. I might have to do that again. This black ink really does edge it nice. I'll have to be making more small book covers like this. See if what I can learn from this. I've got some ink on there too. But see, this not is not opening to my satisfaction. It kind of crinkles in there. It opens, but it's it's I needed to get that pushed down in there when I put it on. I just put it flat. It, it 
I have that little eighth inch in there. And when I put this paper on, I just glued it flat. I should have scored this down inside of that crease. And now it doesn't open and close nice. It it kind of poofs up in here. I I I did a bad job. I did a bad job of putting this paper on. I know. I know. Let's make more. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. It's okay in the long run. I I'm liking how this ink is shaping it up a little. All righty then. Now, let's put that away. Let's see how it fits in here again now. Hopefully I got it cut down enough. <laughs> I did. Oh, it fits in there nice. It fits in there nice. It pulls out nice. Now I just need to put this in here. And I'm going to trim this little piece off. Where's the scissors? I put my scissors away. Oh, put my scissors away. That was just the little end piece. Now, if I put it in there, do I want to put tape from here to here? And maybe I'll, let's see, I know you glue it in there, but I could also just tape it in there. And it's just meeting, oh, it's just meeting the inside. See, I had to cut it down a little to fit. I had to cut it down just a little to fit. Boy, it really needs to be clipped on there. Just meeting the edges here. It's just not quite. My pages are just a teeny bit too big. Now, I could hold your breath. I might do it. Clamp it here because these are my open pages. I could clamp it here. Mary might just do that. <laughs> clamp it here. Real good. And clamp it here real good. You guys are going to scream. You guys are going to have to close your eyes. Clamp it on here really good. And take my knife and cut and re-glue this. If I do, I'll be cutting those accordion folds on this side, but I'm gonna re-glue them anyway. So I kind of want them to fit this book a little better. So, here we go. Let me get out my cutting board. What time is it? I've been playing with this book all morning. It's 7.23. I think I'm going to do it. I'm not going to look at what you guys are yelling at me for. <laughs> I'm really kind of happy with the cover in the long run. It's, it looks okay. It doesn't function very well. But it, we're, it isn't like I'm going to be reading that book on a daily basis. Let's get these scraps off of here. So let's get my knife out. Put my scissors away again. Of course, on, away on the floor. I have to clean up my floor after every time I stream. All right. And I'm going to re-glue it on the end there. And then while this is drying, I'll go on to something else. I'm going to trim this down a little. Yes, I am. And you know what? That is awful. I think I used that on something. I'm going to break that edge off. 
let's break this blade. And when you break this blade, put it so if you have one of these utility knives, you probably already know. I love these blades because you can use them all the way down. But the second one needs to have, this needs to grip onto the second one. And instead of getting it down here, get your, when you pliers, put your pliers clear over that blade so that when you break it, that blade stays inside of your pliers and it won't fly up in your face or something dangerous. There. And then I make sure that I put this in my wastebasket. So I don't cut myself on my toes or something. All righty. So I've got a nice sharp blade. And I'm just going to trim it and I'm going to re-glue it. I'm going to trim it about, about a fourth of an inch. Between a, probably about, probably a little between, probably about what, three sixteenths of an inch? I don't know what that is. Hold on to it, and here I go. I don't know if I'm straight. It's hard to tell. And just keep working down. Now you can put your blade up a little if you need. But just keep working down. Don't cut yourself. I get this out now. Let's see what I have. I think I can use this as a guide. Almost through it. Almost. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice even cut. My my pages weren't folded even, but now I'm going to re-glue this. But I think this will fit in there a lot nicer. Oh, it will. And this will fit in my... See, I cut off that much of it. All right. I think I had it. I think the fold expanded a little. So now we're going to re-glue, re-glue, and that'll have to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to go work on some ATCs because it's only 7.30. I've got, I've got a good hour and 15 minutes left to work on this stuff. Yay! I might get it done. Oh, I should start altering this. Now, do I want to paint it? I think I want to collage it, but I think I'll paint it first. And I'm wondering, I think I'll spray paint it black first and let that dry. And while that's drying, I will work on my ATC. That's the plan. Okay. <laughs> Put your knife away. You're done with that, Mary. See, I have to tell myself to do stuff. Where's my wax paper? under this all right we want to glue this side and I am using tacky glue I should probably put these I don't want to mess them though I'm happy with them let's let's leave them I could put another one there here's my bag of them I got these for 50 cents at the thrift store and they came in this nice little bag here's a smaller one and here's a smaller one. I don't know if those small ones are going to be wide enough, though. Probably need the bigger one.
So this, what I'm working on now is what Tanya and Lisa did. I think they called it their February journal. Mini book. And, uh, is it, uh, Janet, can you scroll the, what you have for what's coming up in Lisa and Tanya's group? The books. Can you, can you uh, let us, do you have that in where you can just cut and paste real fast? Um, because they are doing a mystery journal. I think they finished their, um, they did that flip and fold book. And I, I got mine done, but I didn't embellish the pages. I just didn't have time. And I'm going to leave them unembellished. <laughs> um, and I worked on Aunt Beck's envelope journal. We are getting a lot of little journals. I think they started making those little journals at... Uh, last January and we're having a nice little collection of journals and things going on. Now, when Sharon and I get together on Wednesday nights, we're going to work, we're going to try to, to do an ATC every week. And you're invited to join us. We're just going to spend a half an hour doing an ATC. So at the end of the year, well, we won't get started until the first of the March. Unless we make up our ATCs, we won't have a 52 weeks. We'll have, what, 40 some weeks. Excuse me, 42 or something like that. But you could make up 10 ATCs to have an entire year of ATCs. Thank you, Janet. So I'm just going to kind of work this glue down. And this this dries pretty fast. Kind of work it down into the crevices. And then come back and give it another layer. Now I'm debating on how I'm going to put this in here. I could put a, a strip here and then glue that strip in there. And I might do that. I might do that. That's a little easier than trying to glue this into the spine. So just kind of work that in. And now I'll let this dry. And while that's drying again, let me set it aside. We'll just set it over there. Let me get the glue off of my hands again. Ew, glue. Wipe off the cap as much as I can. I said I was going to work on those ATC. Let's spray paint that first. Let's. Here's the cover. I'm pretty happy with the cover. I'm happy with how it, the, the coloring and the paper. I'm not happy with some of the, when I glued this paper in, I did not get it working to the edge like I should have. And I think it's kind of late now. I could kind of crease it a little, I guess. Because I'm going to glue a, another piece in there anyway. Let's just kind of crease this. So that it'll have a little... Oops. Well, yeah, that's okay. Just so you don't tear the outside. See, it needed... It needed to open up. It needed some space. So when I glue... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a strip here... And then that strip I'm going to glue down in there. But I'll have to be sure that I get it when I get that in there, that I'll get it here in the crease. So it will open and close good. See, I didn't, I had that much of a gap that I was closing up. And it's okay here yet. So I don't want to mess it up too much. Let's put it there. I'm going to spray paint my box. I should probably do that last. But no, Mary doesn't do things last and first. Let's get this out of the way. Mary doesn't do things in the right order. She does them as she gets to them. In other words. Let's get my spray box here. What did I do with that? I thought I put it over here. Where is it? Where's my spray box? There it 
Let me get my phone out of the way or my tablet. Put that in there. You shake it up a little. This has little gold flecks in it. I didn't know that. And I'm just going to spray paint the outside. I might have to give it another coat to get the edges. We'll see. I'm going to be altering it anyway. Oh, yeah, I'll have to give it another coat because I have to get the back of it. All right, we'll stop there. Woohoo! You can't see it, but it's there. Now I got black paint on my fingers too. I'm going to put this aside and let it dry. Over here. All right, now I can sit down again. I, I swear, don't swear, Mary. Give us some more. Clean my hands a little here again. I don't know if that's going to get that paint off of it. Your hands get yucky. Go wash the dishes. Go wash the dishes. If it doesn't clean them, at least it at least feels cleaner with the hand sanitizer. They're at least sanitized. <laughs> no diseases going around in this house. Yeah, right. All right. So now I was going to work on my ATCs, but I think what I'm going to do is in this Somerset magazine, they put this is this is the uh, um, September issue. I don't have the newest one. I quit going to Joanne's and that's where I can find them. So. But in here, they have this artist paper, and I want to get it out, and I make a zine out of this. This is such a pretty, and yeah, I'm going to mess it up, but all right. No, I bend this really good here. Because I want to, I want to cut this out or pull it out on the edge. No, oh. come on, Mary. I guess it's got a perforation in here. I can feel a perforation. Where is it? Nah. There. There we go. And let's trim that little white spot off. I think this will make a nice zine. A nice zine. And I'll have to have I'll have to have something on it. We're gonna make a zine. Because Tanya has me making zines. <laughs> Let me come out one. Boy, my laptop is really jumpy this morning. I don't know if you, if, uh, there we go. I got paint all over my hands, but. All right, do the hot dog fold. Do the hot dog fold. And let me get my. And do the hamburger fold. 
This is not quite to the. I messed that up. I messed that up. I don't know if I can fix it. I'll probably have some white showing. Do the hamburger fold. Fold one side to the back at a time, one side to the center at a time. Don't try to do both of them or the folds will not be nice and even. I learned that from Tanya. I tore it there. I'm going to put a piece of washi on that. Let's do that right now. Let's put this little piece of gold on it. If I can get it, find the beginning of it. <laughs> oh dear, my card is so loaded up with stuff. We still have a lot of snow, Violet says. It's going to be a while before we see green. We don't have a lot of snow on the ground. Let's just put that there just to keep it from tearing more. And flip it over. And fold. This side's going to be pretty. What I like about doing these zines is they are so easy. You can do one in the morning. I mean, and you don't have to wait for stuff to, and it's done and you can enjoy it. I love doing these zines, even though that may be a little crooked. All right, so now I have to embellish. And how am I going to embellish? Should I cut it first? Yeah, let's cut it so I know what. Let's cut it. Let's just cut it with the scissors. Yep, there goes my ruler, I think. Something fell. <laughs> I'm going to have to clean up my floor. All righty, hold the phone. Let's cut this. And this is paper that came in the Somerset Magazine. So she goes like this and this, and I think she pushes hers that way. Oh, and that's going to look nice, isn't it? Because it's got that binding right there. Let's zoom in on that a little now so you can see what's going on. Oop. Plus, plus. See, it's got this stitched binding of, of print there. That's going to look nice on the edge of my zine. And it actually folded up pretty nice. It's got a little white in there. I can't. That's a little crooked. But I'm going to leave it. That's on the back. I could put a strip of something on there. But this is a thicker paper, too. This is pretty thick paper. And a thick paper, a thick, stiff paper will not fold as nice as a thin paper. It's not bad. It's just not perfect. Um, it wants to. It's when I fold it this way. It's when I do this back fold. It pulls so that it can cover the. But it's, it's on the back. I'm going to leave it. I'm happy with the front. All right. So now what are you going to put on it? I think I'm going to do something simple, like fabric. Let's do fabric. Let's do, let's do some fabric and and uh, washi fabric and Tim Holtz paper dolls. Let's get some fabric here. What color of fabric do I want? I know what would look nice, but I don't have it out. 
oh, I have some strips already torn here. I found them. See, when you clean, when you clean, you find stuff. <laughs> when you clean, you find stuff. Let's see, I only need eight. Eight. And I, I let's see, what do I want? Ooh, this red would be pretty on it. That red would look nice on it. And I only need eight. I think I can get eight out of this red. Let's see what I have here. I think I cut a whole bunch of these for Sue's. I think I sent a whole bunch of them to Sue's. Did I not send? And I know I sent some to Lucia, but I don't know if I sent her the red. And I'm not even sure. Oh, yeah, I have red. I made a journal cover. One of those little journals for Lisa and Tanya. Let's 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 use this. How does how did uh, Rosemary do this? This is um, carpet tape, duck double sided carpet tape. You can get it at Menards. It's not cheap, but it's worth it. You can get another kind at Home Depot, but I tell you, I don't like the Home Depot stuff. I'm sorry, Home Depot, but it's this, this, when you peel it off, it's not gummy. It's like a duct tape. I'm trying to get this straighter. Of course, look, it peeled the black off of my fingers. Um, that double-sided carpet tape that you get at the Home Depot, when you peel it off, it's it it gums up on you, and it 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 it's this not it's hard to work with for what we do. They didn't make it for to do this type of stuff, but this you peel it and it if you have to go like this, it it stays on the it doesn't gum up on you. Yeah. And I have to go like this a lot. <laughs> so if you want my recommendation, what well, such as it is, I would go for the duct, duct tape brand of double-sided carpet tape. That's Mary's recommendation. I like it a lot more. And to tell you the truth, the price point difference is not that much. They both cost around $10 for a roll of it. And that's, you know, duct tape isn't that uh, cheap anyway. This just happens to be double-sided carpet tape. Yeah, I'm sticking to it here. And this is Rosemary Morris's inspiration, making fabric washi tape. Rosemary Morris is an inspiration, I'll tell you. She does a lot of different techniques. She tries a lot of different things. She has what she calls a rust garden. <laughs> She'll put things out in the, her garden is rusty things. She'll put things outside and leave them out let the rain hit them and she loves her rust garden let's trim this now of course i put my scissors back what they do fall on the floor again where where did i put them see here's i don't know where i did with my scissors i don't want to use my good ones <sighs> where'd i put the scissors I don't know. Let's put the glue away or sort of away. Put my washing. So I thought I put my scissors away. Well, hold your breath. I usually only like to use these for fabric, but oops. Let me put the tape away so I know where to find that again. What happened to those scissors? How can you lose things in three feet of space? That's what I want to know. Did I put them over here on the cart? No. I don't know what I did with them. Ah. Well, this is sort of cutting through fabric. 
That's my justification. There we go. Yeah. Get up on that side. Alrighty. I think they fell on the floor someplace. My scissors, my red-handled ones, the ones I use for every day. All right, I'm going to put this. I need eight of them. So if I fold it this way, yes, and fold it this way, I'll have four and fold it that way. I should have eight, the right size. Wow, how did that happen? <laughs> How did that happen? Just the size I needed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's cut this in half. I don't like using my good scissors for this stuff. Or my, can't call them good. I had to laugh because I was looking at scissors yesterday. I didn't buy any. And uh, it was uh, Fisker's brand. They said, these are only for fabric. Do not use on paper. Said that right on the packaging. And I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> and then they mark some for both fabric and mixed media. <laughs> so they're, they're understanding the, the people who do a lot of sewing who don't don't use my scissors on paper and the beauticians they say this is only for hair cutting <laughs> don't use my scissors to cut fabric and paper and linoleum <laughs> there so now we got four yeah. What time is it? 7.50. I still got time. I got 45 minutes. Yay. Uh, Sharon Marlowe, I think, is coming on this morning. The last I heard, she was going to stream this morning. I'll probably go take a nap. I'll tell you, if you sit here for four hours, you're ready for a nap. Talk for four hours. I'll probably eat some breakfast, go take a nap, read the paper. My brother's got the paper now. He likes to work his crossword puzzle. There's that. Fold that in half. I'm amazed that this came right out to the right size. Came right out to the right size. I didn't have to measure. There. Now I can start putting this on my zine. And I want this little stitch part here to show. Let's put it this way. So what I need to do, and let's get my oops. <laughs> Jeez. Oh dear. My palette knife. I like to use this for a scoring tool and a burnisher that handle because I can't find my bone folder. <laughs> it's here someplace in one of these boxes. All right, we want to pull the tape off and put it on my zine. Right about... There. I don't want it over too far, but I think that'll be about right. Boy, I'll tell you, it, it sticks to this paper, but good. You kind of want to know where you're going because it, it's down there. Yeah. If I can work the bump out of this. Yeah. There we go. It is down there. Ooh, I love it on there. I love it on there. 
Look at this paper. And I think this one will go this way. Now I've got to keep it away from the fold so it won't. No, I think probably this way would be better. I'm just having all sorts of fun this morning, art journaling, doing a zine, making my little book. I didn't work in my jam journal. I need to probably be working on my binding my jam journals this afternoon. Today is Thursday. I'm not planning on going anyplace. I need to go to the library. I may need to run over to the library. My brother's out. Yeah, see, that's. I needed to come up a little, but that's glued down real fast. So this will be down a little, but it'll show that stitching up at the top. It'll show the stitching up at the top, which is nice. So this one will come in here this way, I think. This way. Yeah, I like it like that. Burnish your duct tape down to your fabric. And it's nice. It's nice and tight. It isn't going to pull up on you. And it's fairly easy to get off. I say fairly because I always, there we go, hold my breath. Let's see. I think it makes more sense to put it this way for the writing, but I, I like it this way better. So watch what you do here, Mary. You want to get it straight. Maybe if I go like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I should do Aunt Beck's trick of not pulling it all off at once. Don't pull it all off at once and then you can position it. Let's do that on the next one. Ooh, this one's pretty. I almost hate covering it up. Let's use a thinner one. Let's not pull the entire backing off of this. Let's just pull part of the backing off. I've been pulling all of the release papers off. What's this one? That one's cool, too. Put it like that. Let's use this. Yeah. Now, when I pull this, I'm only going to pull pull it a little so I can position it. It's a little harder to do with a wider paper, but I have you can position it better and and uh, this will stick. That'll stick. I'll have trouble getting it off and then pull that off. And that works a lot better. And let's do this one over here. I'm not reading chat. I'll come back and read chat after I get to a good stopping point here. Let's see, let's pull it here. Yeah, come on. Maybe if I pull on this side. Sometimes it's a little hard to get off. But generally, if you get it started, I get it started with my palette knife. There. Give myself a pull tab here and position it. Like that. That works pretty good. I'm loving this paper. Now, Somerset, see now my last page of my zine 
has a white area in there. I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do is, how about some of that paint? I'll do that paint later. That paint will go good in there and I'll paint, I'll just open up my zine and paint all around the edges. And that will kind of cover up that bad fold there. Ooh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. All right, few more to go here. What, three? I'm not looking at chat. Good morning to everybody who came in. Thanks for coming. I think Sharon Marlowe's going to stream at nine. She'll be on for a couple hours. And then Thursdays, I don't know. I kind of lose track of when Vicki Ross streams. Um, I think she streams on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I don't think Aunt Becca's going to stream this afternoon. I think she's, she said in her stream yesterday that she's not going to stream today. Right, Becky? Are you still in here? And then tonight, Beth Schuler will be streaming. She streams on Thursday nights. And I'm going to try to stream tomorrow morning. Friday mornings are an optional day. So if I'm here, I'm here. If I'm not, I'm not. Ooh, I'm going to save this for the back, I think. I wish that wasn't there, but it is. It is what it is what it is. It is what it is. My brother burped. <laughs> he is what he is. He doesn't care that I'm streaming worldwide. How rude. <laughs> I even bought him donuts yesterday. I know he likes to get donuts at that store that we shop at. And I had to go in there to get milk because our grocery store closed. So we have to get our milk at a different town. So I happened to be there when I was running my errands yesterday. So I got some milk and I stopped and got him some donuts. Well, I got me some too. I generally don't eat a lot of donuts. I'm not a donut, all that sugar uh, on top of them. I like the Long Johns. That's what I got. Or they're twisties. They weren't Long Johns. Long Johns generally have a frosting on them. I don't care for that frosting. So much frosting. Um, the twisties are glazed. I gobbled mine down because I didn't have dinner. I didn't have dinner. <sighs> I was running all over the place yesterday. That's what made me so tired. I was glad to get home. There we go. One more page. One more page right here, I think. Up at the top, no, down at the bottom. Down at the bottom. Get her positioned. There we go. Ooh, I'm loving it. Now I'm going to open it up and paint the edges here. This with my fingers, yes. Oh, that's go. I want the coffee stuff. What did I do with the other bronzy stuff? I like gold, but I want bronze today or rich espresso. And can I open this up? Better than 
put in another piece to tear off. Put my scissors away where I know where they are. I don't know what happened to my red scissors. I could lose them in three minutes. Put that away. And I'm just going to paint around the edges here with my fingers. Ooh, maybe with a brush. I don't know if I like that. The paint's a little transparent, metallic, and I don't know. I don't know if I shake it up; it will make a difference. Let's do this. Just needed to shake it a little more. It's in the middle that it needs to be painted in here. And even if this sticks together because it's metallic, that's okay because it's on the inside. It's on the inside. <clears throat> yeah. Let's move this down a little. Uh this way. Get my brush clean. wiping it off of my brush, wiping what's on my brush off on the inside. It doesn't matter because it's going to be folded closed. All right, let's dry this. I'm going to refresh my screen here. The price is on what, Janet? She says, oh dear, look at the prices on these and yet find the same thing at the Dollar Tree. Aunt Beck, there's a Menards between me and the Carolinas. What are you looking for? What are you guys looking for? The tape? 
Oh, the double-sided tape I got, the carpet tape, the double-sided carpet tape I got at Menards. Now, you can get cheaper carpet tape, sure. But let me tell you, let me tell you that um, home brand carpet, that Home Depot carpet tape I was not happy with. It's gummy. It's gummy. Um, it's a lot harder to work with. So if you're getting a cheaper one, make sure it's what you want. But if you get if you're only paying a dollar for it, well, it isn't gonna hurt. I like the duct tape brand because it's it's easy to work with. And ooh, I set this down in the let's get rid of this now. Sort of rid of it. Let's see where my where my yeah, how this is doing. Tacky glue here. I'm going to glue this down on a strip of paper like this. That I'm going to glue the strip of paper into my journal. So let's do that while I'm out here fiddling with stuff. So on the strip of paper, I think I'm going to use, if I can find what I did with it, one of this. And did I have some that was cut out here? Let me check. No, I think I used them. What did I do with those? Here. Here, we can use this. And I'm going to glue, I think what I'm going to do is glue my little book onto this but I need to cut it it needs to be glued this way let's put my zine out of the way for a minute and where's my where's my book cover see I get too much stuff on my desk I don't know what I did with my book cover Oh, that I got all these ATCs out here in the way. In the way. Where'd I put it? I'm going to have to keep track of where I put things. Oh, I don't know. The book cover was not in the... I, I glued, I spray painted my cover but my uh, here it is here oops I want my tape my ink pads so that means I'm not going to put this clear up to the edge here because I've already got I'm only going to put it right into here yep that's what I'm going to do so probably I'm going to trim this off a little, but let's trim it this way first. Probably right about to there. And then I'll trim some off of here, and this will be glued on the center there. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I think, I think. But I have to be sure and remember to leave enough space here to score that down. That's where I made my mistake. That is where I made my mistake. So let's trim this right here. And that's... Let's score this. Let's, I have to trim it down just a little. Let's, I'm going to mark it on this side. <laughs> See, I got stuff out here that I don't put away. That irritates me. All righty. Mark it here and here. And here, and here. And let's score this. Or we, we want it to fit. We want it to fit in there. 
and I, I need to make sure, let's just fold it. I'm not sure that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> See, I didn't even fold that straight, did I? I didn't fold it straight. And you think I'd learn. So I need to make sure when I glue this, that I'm gluing it so it'll fold. So maybe I'll do one at a time. One at a time. In fact, I think I'll use tape. Let's do the other side here. Let's trim it a little. Just a teeny bit. this and I think I'll use tape instead of glue for it to put it down but I'm going to put the tape on it first I'm going to put the tape on it first so I can pull it off when I'm ready to put it in put it in this way I think this is the top So let's put some tape. I had tape out here, but goodness knows where it went off to. Let's use this. Right there. And maybe right in here, maybe in the center. Or toward the center. I think that'll be good. I might have to do a strip there. I think maybe I should. All right. Here. I'm getting hungry. There. Burnish this down. All right. Now, we're not going to put it down yet, though. So. And when I tape it down, I'll do one side and make sure it folds nice. And then I'll do the center. And then I'll do the other side. So the next thing I want to do is glue this to the center in here, which means I could probably take these off now, at least the two side ones. So we wanna glue this down in the center, sort of like that. So we're gonna put some tacky glue, this kind of down the center. Come on, Tacky. And I know you can store these upside down, but I, I generally don't because I don't, I just put them on my bookshelf. Now I'm going to leave that there and put some more tacky here and that should be enough it'll have to dry it will have to dry and let's turn it this way can I see does it look like it's in the center maybe a little bit a little more like that
I don't know. I think I can put it in. I get too anxious to do things, but it goes in like this. I think I can put it in. In my book, just like that. To one side at a time. One side at a time, so I know that it's stuck down. I should probably let it dry. What time is it? 8.18. I'll come back to this at 8.30. I'm going to let that dry a little before I do this. Let's let's move along. Um, my zine. What did I do with my zine? It's here somewhere. My zine, I want to put little people on here, I think. Or little fussy cuts. Maybe I'll ink the edge. No, I don't know if I want to ink the edges. Get out my Tim Holtz. Let's see what I have for Tim. Tim stuff. You know, I don't have to put people. I like my little people. I like my little people. Good morning to everybody who came in. Good morning, good morning. I should probably stop and look at chat. Let's stop and look at chat, Mary. You've been in your own world. Let's read chat. Janice says, thank you, Arlene. Just clicked on your link. Oh, the Walmart duck brand. Aunt Beck, you are being punished for something. Aunt Beck says, geez, these cats are turning are taking turns seeing who they can spread the most litter this morning. <laughs> I will clean them out and vacuum up the litter mess. Oh, dear. They're just being ornery, Aunt Beck. Thank you, Arlene. She's dropped the, the community tab for my gem prompts. Thank you. Cheryl says, everyone have a blessed day. If I do not get to say goodbye, you too, Cheryl. Thank you for the playlist, Aunt Beck. Let's see what Aunt Beck did. Um, Aunt Beck said, I put the envelope journal videos into a playlist for you guys. Thank you, Aunt Beck. And Beck on her channel, she dropped a link to the playlist for her envelope journal. I still, I have my envelope journal all put together, Aunt Beck. Here it is. I, I glued the piece on it. Well, I, I need to put, I'm going to put ribbon in here where I have these little safety tabs. And then I've got my pages, my fold down on the pages, but I'm going to take some more and make tags and put in there. That's where I am on my... I really like how this came out. I'm wanting to put red paint around here. <laughs> oh, let's see what else is going on. Carla says, Walmart online duck brand indoor outdoor carpet tape is 525 white. 1.4 inches by 42 feet. That's a pretty good price for that. I got mine at Menards, and it probably cost a double that, but I don't know how many feet are on it. I threw the Peggy Gina away. Arlene, don't laugh, but when I read your comment, my brain said it correctly. Let's see. Trace, you're all ready. Trace says, I got my cardboard, Janet. I went to town yesterday. Although that's to do uh, the mystery journal, Trace. March mystery journal, craft together info. Thank you, Janet, for posting that. Um, the video link is on Tanya. Is on Tanya's channel. Is it? Yeah, it has to be on Tanya's channel. The video link to what you'll need for it, the prep journal, and it's going to be March third at noon Central Time. 
That's a Tuesday. Is that next Tuesday? It has to be next Tuesday. Thank you, Janet. I do. Yeah. Now we know that duck brand tape is Mary's favorite. Yeah, the one that the one at Walmart is, I mean, at uh, Menards is the duck brand. I like that a lot better. Hi, Erin. There's Rosemary. She's, I don't know if she's still in here, but yeah, Rosemary, I used your, your, I did the fabric washi for my little zine here. I really like how it worked up. And see, I painted the inside of my, I missed that right there. I'm going to have to go back and put a little paint right there. Um, I really like how it looks on here. Just so nice and easy. Once you get the tape on it, you just have to paste it down. Now I'm going to put some ephemera in this, but I want to read chat first. Carpet tape. That's Rosemary's, Rosemary's brainchild with wa fabric washi tape using double-sided carpet tape. That's where we learned it from Rosemary Morris. Let's see. Ampec dropped another to Menards, the Menards brand. They were checking out the prices of duck brand tape. Mary, it's okay. A man in his home should be able to burp when he needs to. <laughs> I don't mind the burp. What I mind is that it gets recorded on the video. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny because I'll get a little irritated when he sneezes. And then what happens? I have to sneeze. <laughs> I don't get irritated at my own sneezes. <laughs> that's just, that's a Mary fault. Mary, Mary just picks on her brother that way, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Aunt Beck says, not sure. Depends if I can make her understand in chat. Uh-oh. Thumbs up for Mary. What am I not understanding, Aunt Beck? Oh. Help Sharon fold a pocket. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to verbally describe what needs to be done when you're watching somebody. Hi, Lori Paint Girly, if you're still in here. The fabric tape would be great to use on tags. Yes. And, you know, I have a whole bunch of strips torn. I put them over on the other side there. But I have, you know, um, when you have leftover fabric, tear them into strips and just roll them in a ball and save them. And just like this morning, I needed some and they were right there. You, you know, or just make your fabric tape right away. But. And save it, but yeah. All right. Eggs and toast for Cheryl this morning. Barb says, I find that Dollar Trees don't really have the same things too. Yeah. Dollar Tree, if they have the same brand, what they usually have is just a little bit less of it. I am wondering if maybe some of this ephemera might look good in that instead of all those paper dolls. I bought some. Let's see. This is his keepsake souvenirs let's see i only need eight pieces i really do like um i like tim holt's packs uh, he doesn't he, he's not stingy with his packs of of ephemera this could go right on the front but it'd cover up all my fabric so let's hunt for something in here that I want. These are pretty big, some of them. Let's get the big ones out because they're going to be too big. I think that happened to me the other day. I was saying they're too large. Let's sort out the big ones. This, this would be nice, but it's... I guess I could cut it down a little, but I'll save it for something else. We want the smaller things. That's too big. Shirt. Shirt. Are, somebody's shirts are the cheapest and the best. Ooh, I kind of like that with a paper doll. Let's save that out. 
some stamps. John Mudner, Men and Boys Clothing. Fragile, do not drop handle with care. She's really too large. I'm not going to. I'll save these larger ones for something else. That's pretty. Maybe those. I don't know. Let's see what I have in here. Your mail. Steel pens. Ooh, that'll look nice. That's cool, but I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save some of these for something else. Let's see what I have here. Ooh, wildflowers. Let's push on. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Souvenir views. I'll save that. All right, let's just push all that up there. Let's let's get a paper doll. I think I'm gonna put this right on the front. I kind of like it. Uh, maybe I'll cut this down just a little. I kind of like it either on the front or no, he'll cover up too much of the back. Let's see what I want on the front. And I'm going to tear his ephemera. And put a paper doll on there. And what did I pull out? I pulled out the little girl and I pulled out the man. I don't like either one of them. What else do I have on here? Oops. What was her? She's a little tall. Ooh, I like her. I like her. Alrighty. So we're going to do her. Or maybe her. Oh, she's the same one, only larger. Yeah. Same one, only larger. All right, let's do that right now. What time is it? 8.30. 8.30. Let's push this aside, and I want to put this... I think this is probably dried enough that I can put this in. And I'm going to tape one side and fold it closed and make sure that it will close good. So let's start with this side. Now let's start with this side. I'm not going to get to my ATCs this morning. Oh, come on. I need my palette knife. Now. These I'm going to pull off, but this one in the center, my dirty hands, the one in the center, I'm only going to pull part way. I'm only going to pull it part way, and I need to pull these others part way because I won't get a hold of them while I'm working. So this just, that tape down, let's pull that part way. And let's pull this one part way. Come on. Come on. There. Now. See, it pulls all the paint off of my hands. All right. So let's put this right here. Make sure I get it straight. As straight as I can. 
probably should have done the center one here first. Let's do the center one first. that closed. I'm hoping that that will, and I might go over this again. I don't know. I might smear some paint in there to, to smooth it out so it's not such a rough edge. I just want to make sure that this opens and closes fine. And oh, it's pulling off. I'll have to let that glue. That should come up in here. I might have to redo this. I'll need a piece from here. I'll put some music paper. I'll put some music paper from here over to here. I'll have to work with it. It's it's Mary's unbinding technique here. Mary's unbinding technique. Let's put some glue down in here. Come on. Mary's not patient. She wants it all to happen in a half an hour. All right, let's pull the tape off of this. Mary's smart aleck. He Techniques didn't work so good. Get in there. Yeah. Come on. All righty. Let's take these clips off now. I needed to come down a little bit more, but um, when I curved this, when I curved this, I didn't curve the pages here. I just curved the corner but I'm pretty happy with this is not going to be a little book that I'm going to sit and read every day so now what I'm going to do is it really needs to be dry let dry let's put these clips back on and just set it and let it dry till tomorrow morning and the tomorrow I'll embellish the Altoid tin I think it will fit pretty good in the Altoid tin. And I might put one of these pieces of ephemera on the top, in the front. Maybe I can find something with music to go, because these are all music pages. And then the other lesson was, when you fold these pages, they expand. I know, they expanded for Lisa, too. So you need to make your, your folds a little bit smaller a little bit smaller than the width of your book. All right, I'm just going to let this, I'm going to let it dry overnight. What time is it? It's 8.37. I've got just a little bit more, just a little bit more I can work on this. I'm just putting this this way. And I'm going to put her down here. I think I'm going to paint her dress a little, washi tape, not washi tape, uh, smear a little red, which looks pink to me on here. Uh. Ewy gooey, ewy gooey, Mary's messy. Mary is messy. Just put a little, little 
dab on my finger, I think. Oh, here, let's do it this way, Mary. Give her a little, little red dress in here, a little pinkish red dress. They all say this looks red to you, but I'll tell you, it looks pink to me. Hot pink. She needs a hot pink bow. Up here. I don't know if I can do her hair band. I'm going to leave it. Alrighty, let's give that a little try. Yeah. It's already. And I want to do the cover and then I'll have to I'll have to finish it up, I guess, tomorrow because I want to do all the pages. I'll finish the cover here. I'll figure out off stream. I'll figure out what uh, what I want to do for my other seven pages and put them in the pages. And then tomorrow I'll finish. I'll finish it, and we'll finish my altered book tomorrow. And that is about all I got done today. I spent a lot of time on this little mini book. <laughs> you know. Let's kind of put it like so. Mm -hmm. Like so. Like that. Well, it might be down a little, but I wanted that to show. So we're going to put her up a little. And I generally do not tape all the little bits and pieces on. But she's going to be on the cover, so I'm going to put a little bit more here. And I just let them sit on the cover, and it'll, it'll kind of flop. If you could peel, you could pick at it if you wanted, but I don't want. Let me get this off. Okay. Pulls the paint off of my hands. Messy, messy, messy. Good thing it's on the underside. <laughs> I want the roses to kind of show. I'll put it like that. She needs to be up a little. She needs to be up. Come on. Peel it up. Tore it. We'll cover that tear up. There. Oh, look, there's a little torn spot there. <laughs> paint it. I'll paint it. There's a little torn spot right in there. Where's my paint honestly honestly let's take a little dab and kind of smear it in there no, no, not that color let's go for the bronze There. You can hardly tell. You can hardly tell. <laughs> Only you guys will know what I did. I tore it. So what I was saying is I don't tape all the, I don't try to glue all everything down here. So, you know, it, it'll be a little floppy on there. 
Um, I don't try to glue everything down good. But I am so happy with this scene. And I'm pretty happy with my little book. Let's take it out here. Let's look at it. I'm pretty happy with my little book. I'm pretty happy with the little book. For it just being five sheets of paper folded and the challenge was doing the rounded corners and the challenge here on the spine was a challenge. I'm not sure I really did so great in there. But I needed to have it rounded here. I needed to have these rounded in order for it to fit that Altoid tin. But it's okay. It's, it's all right. Now, after this all dries, I'm going to come in here and put some music paper in here. Just some music and maybe some journaling words. And that, it, it has plenty of room. It has plenty of room to expand. So I'm going to gonna mess with it too much. It needs to dry. So that is my morning art stream. Thank you guys for coming. It is, oh, look, it's 844. I've got one minute to say goodbye to everybody. So let me do that. And this is about all I got done. <laughs> this is about all I got done. Let me push this all out of the way. But what fun it was to work on those. Look at this mess on my desk. Messy desk. Mess desk. Well, oh, there's my tape. Let's put that over there. I washed off that brush. That's okay. Let's put it back in here. Let me put my palette knife away. And let me put the lid on my tacky glue. And then I'll say goodbye. <sighs> all right. Thank you all for coming. Have a really good day. Oh, thank you, angels, Southern angels. See you all later, Arlene says. Carla says, have a lovely day. Sharon says, read the chat. Mary, I love your little book zine. Sharon says, Mary, may have an update on our elephant. Friday, she can check with the sheriff in Phibsville. <laughs> Um, if Sharon, if you're listening, I'll, we'll go to the post office today and see if your package came and we'll see if you sent that elephant to me. <laughs> oh dear. It looks like wonderfully vintage. Ah, oh, thank you, Violet. All right. Janet had to leave. So we're saying goodbye. It's 845. Sharon Marlowe's getting ready to come on. Mary's, Mary's going to. Just leave her mess out here for the uh, thumbnail. How's that? We'll pick up the little scrappies so they don't get in there. And we'll just flip some of these over so that they show <laughs> show vintage stuff instead of white. Make sure I got scraps here and not throwing away good stuff. We'll put my little paper dolls there to spread them out. Spread them out. Put the little girl here. Take that, throw it away, put the cap on my pen. Mary's talking to herself while she spreads stuff out here. Oops, threw it over the little girl. There we go. There we go. I'm just trying to position this for a, for a thumbnail. Some washi tape, put that away. Now, all of these on this side here. And what way? This way, this way, this way. A little more, a little more. Get it in the center. All right. Have a great day, everybody. I'll probably have to run to the library this afternoon. When I run to the library, I'll check the post office to make sure that Sharon didn't send me her elephant page. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day. Do some art.